Okay, so I had to record this again. Uh, the previous audio was was capturing the webcam's microphone. I hope this sounds better. Uh, so this is for Shoner, but it goes for anyone who's watching this, honestly. We got a, not a discussion, but in one of the streams, we start talking about rolling under because I use that at the moment. So I want to explain how do I do it. And a little disclaimer, it is in Portuguese, uh, my native language. I translated some, some little things here so you can better follow me, but bear with me on this one, okay? So it is a 2D12. Uh, when you use a 2D12, a 13 is the most likely result on the dice. So with that in mind, uh, I have these uh, these well abilities, which they are like your characteristics, right? Iron brains. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, for this example, let's take brains, which, as the name suggests, you use for all the intellectual challenges and skills. So you have your abilities and you have your masteries or your minor skills. So in this case, let's say this character has alchemy. So he his brain score seven but because he has the mastery the skill in alchemy he's going to add a plus three so a nine ten he has a ten now now this ten is a target number when he needs to roll so whenever i tell the player a hey, um well, not like that right but if the player knows he needs to roll a skill check He's going to, he can quickly look at his own character sheet and assess, oh, like 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's a 10, he rolls. If it's equal to or under, he passed, right? Now, there are more elements. I, I, I like this kind of system. Uh, it's, it feels very simple and intuitive to me. Now, what, what I've done, and this is a, li a little, sorry. And this is a little bit of setting as well. I, I, I did add a level of complexity which goes a little bit against of what I was talking about in that stream with Shoner. Uh, it is a little bit autistic, so prepare yourself, Shoner. <laughs> so you have your abilities, right? Uh, I did add the humors. So what, what are the humors? So from medieval times up to the Illuminism age, like the... 1800s somewhere around there the the one of the main medical theories was that we had these humors inside of us they were fluids such as blood uh, black bile uh, yellow bile and so on a phlegm uh, so much so that the the word in english oh he's being so sanguine is because of that because sanguine is a person who has a lot of blood so they believe that if you had a lot of blood, you were a very social, you were a very living person, and had like that childlike joy to you. Now, if you have a lot of black bile in you, you are like a bitter person, you are a melancholic. So much so that this fluid was called melanch. In the, in the world that uh, I've made, uh, these things are very real. Plus, people back then believed that each of these fluids was related to one of the four elements, right? So blood was the element of air, cholera or choleric was fire, phlegm, water, melanch, earth. And you have these um, flat stats that you put on your character. So when you're creating your character, you envision him, well, okay, so he's going to be a very stern, cold and person. So you're going to put into flema your highest number. Because every time you're going to do a test, and again, I know, for first timers, it does hog a little bit down, but based on my tests, after a few rolls, you get the hang of it. But yeah, I am planning on making like a agnostic system without humors, just this, because I did have some players who are a bit slow. They did not get this. So it was 10 here, right? 7, 8, 9, 10, all right. But because my character 
so alchemy he wants to he's very excited because he's going to discover a new alchemical compound or something because he's very excited that that joy that excitement is either sanguine or choleric more sanguine i put here the, the types of uh, emotions that that leads so you, you as a player can better assess that as well let's say you have a four here i don't think it's going to show so now it's 14 Rolling a 14 and a 2d12 is pretty good. Uh, it's kind of about 70% uh, chance uh, of succeeding, which is pretty good. Now, th there are other things that may influence this. Uh, Shoner mentioned, like, oh, what about weather? I, I know, Shoner, you don't like this. Initially, I didn't like it as well, but it has been working fine during my games, which are traits, right? A little characteristics that uh, are so important that they might affect things you have it written down. So let's take that same alchemy thing um, we talked about earlier. Uh, let's say the character got hit in the head uh, a few days prior. Or he was drinking, so now he's drunk. Uh, let's use this one, actually. So he's drunk now. Because he's drunk, that is going to affect his target number. So the traits will either give you a plus one or a minus one to your main skill here. So let, let's say that uh, you're not drunk, you're just hangover, right? So this is just a minor inconvenience. That 14 that you got here will now be 13. If a trait is really, really relevant to the situation, let's use again the, the drunk thing, then that is a minus five. So now we're bringing it to, to nine. Uh, what I had players do is write uh, here, for example. In the best case scenario, I'm always rolling for a 14. Whenever they have to adjust, oh, now I'm doing choleric and choleric is 2. They, oh, so now it's a 12, you know. That, that is a way to help you keep track of it. There are, there are other me mechanics that I use that is very tailored to the thing I do. Uh, but about rolling under, that's the thing I do. That's how I've been doing it. 